Hello. In this video, we will discuss the final two questions to ask yourself when analyzing media messages. We will then talk about how we can use these five questions to analyze an article. As a reminder, the first three questions are, who created the message that is being sent? What techniques were used to attract my attention? And how might other people understand or interpret this message differently from me? The final two questions to ask are, what points of view and values are included or omitted from this message? And why was this message sent? Let's start with question four. What points of view and values are represented or are omitted from this message? A point of view is the way in which a person sees the world. It is based on the person's beliefs and life experiences. A value is something that a person or organization thinks is very important. Values guide the decisions that people make. When you see or hear a media message, ask yourself, what organization created or paid for the message? The message being sent may be very different depending on its beliefs and values. It is especially important to think about religious or political beliefs. Political beliefs are the views people have about how a country should run or be governed. Think about a person running for the President of the United States. One media message might say the person would be a great president. Another media message might say that the person would be an awful president. Why can the same person be seen as a great and awful president? Because the organizations that created those two messages had very different political beliefs and values. The second part of this question asks you to think about what values or points of view were omitted from the media message. To omit means to leave out or not include. It's important that the media includes information from people with different ideas, opinions, and backgrounds. If the media leaves them out, we are missing part of the story. The media is also sending the message that the ideas or views that are omitted are not important. The fifth and final question to ask yourself is why was this message sent? The media most often sends messages to give the audience information, to convince them to buy a product, or to simply entertain them. For all media messages, the larger purpose is usually to make money or gain power. It is important to understand who is getting the money and power from sending the messages we receive. Having this information helps us make informed decisions about what information to believe and what opinions we have. To summarize, when we see a media message, we should ask ourselves five questions. Who created the message that is being sent? What techniques were used to attract my attention? How might other people understand or interpret this message differently from me? What points of view and values are included or omitted from this message? Why was this message sent? By asking these questions, we can better understand the messages we receive and become more media literate. Next, you will read an article and complete a check your understanding. This article will discuss an issue related to freedom of the press. Freedom of the press is the right of the media to print and state their opinions without restrictions from the government. Think about these five questions as you read.